welcome back to my channel. Cat wonders here, my hair just got caught in my armpit. Welcome to my very first exercise video. Woo, just kidding. I'm trying on activewear. But I might exercise as I'm talking to you because I need to try this stuff out. Um. Okay, so this little outfit is banging. <laughs> I was gonna say bombing, but I meant to say like the bomb. I'm already breaking a sweat. So these are all activewear sets from Shein. Now I'm filming again in my loft. This in fact is where I actually work out. Don't ask me why I put my gym in the loft because it is so freaking hot up here in the summertime that I have two fans, one there and one there. And uh, it's the only way that I can get through. Also, my spin bike is hanging out right here. Can you see it? No. Um, so anyway, it's, I'm just being as realistic as possible. And I think that this first set, one thing I do notice with the Shein sets, a lot of them are called um, seamless, meaning there's no seam, but that's actually not really true because it's sewn together somehow, right? I think they're this, the seam is right here rather than up the butt, but they do ruched bottoms, ruched bottoms. <laughs> so ruched shorts, leggings, um, I'll show you what I mean. So here you can see that there is this like extra little wedgie thing here. <laughs> And this is what gives your butt a little bit more definition um, rather than it being kind of a unibutt, a mono butt, whatever you want to call it. But it does make for a nicer fit, which I really appreciate. So the reason why I bought these sets actually initially was because I've been going crazy on my spin bike, biking every day. And I just find like looser fitting shorts were chafing my inner thighs. <laughs> And if I'm gonna get chafed in my inner thighs, it's not gonna be because of my shorts, okay? <laughs> but I'm just saying like, I just was having trouble like wearing anything that wasn't causing any irritation. So I did happen to have like a little pair of booty shorts that I wear under my dresses sometimes that worked really well. So I really am out of breath, you guys, this is insane. So I decided to order a bunch from Shein and I did, and these are super cheap sets they're like $17 for a top and a bottom and to be honest I do have some more expensive exercise wear from a company called do you even and they are exactly the same shit and it's like this is a quarter of the price it just doesn't have their little logo on the back um, <laughs> but this color I love it I love bright activewear this set is probably my favorite. I have worked out in this and it does work well. Stay in place, but keep in mind too, I'm not um, doing super high impact stuff. I'm not doing a ton of jumping. I'm doing core on my mats for 20 minutes and then I'm doing half an hour on the bike. So it's, it's pretty low impact, not a ton of jumping around because this actually is pretty good for my titties. I've got size C cut boobies and these sets are all medium. So if you have bigger boobs, stick with medium for more support so it's a bit tighter, but I love it. And I'm really happy that I ordered these, but I haven't really tried on all of them. So four more to go, see if I can make it through this non-workout workout. <laughs> and outfit number two. This one's super adorable. And the back has a more unique design. One thing too about these is these tops are like, none of them are adjustable. So you're kind of stuck with what you got. This, even though it's a medium, is it fits larger than the rest. So I would not really want to wear this as a sports bra. I think it'd be cute crop top in the summertime with a nice skirt or something, but, uh, but again, the ruched, but <laughs> hold on to my timber. It just is super flattering. And most of them have this like compression band, uh, which is really nice, thank God. <laughs> but some of them like cut halfway through my little paunchy poochy donut in my belly. <laughs> and then so sometimes it goes like, it sucks in here and then there's like a little boop down here. So you do have the option to like roll them down and adjust them, but still. For 17 or 18 dollars, 
I feel like I would feel pretty great with my coordinated outfit at the gym. But since I have my own home gym, nobody sees me anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, same kind of fabric, seamless. And yeah, on to the next. Okay, you guys. <laughs> I was just filming with my handy dandy kettlebell because I'm also filming some shorts. Not these kind, just like short video clips. And I'm actually sweating. <laughs> I might have to turn on my fan. Actually, let me go do that. It might be a little bit noisy, but I think that it should be okay. That's a bad idea. Felt good for about <laughs> five seconds. Um, okay, so this is the next set. And um, I find that these pattern ones are even more flattering because, you know, I would never buy like white leggings because it just shows every single lump and bump and cellulite and even bruise. <laughs> I have a huge bruise on my ass right now. It's insane. And it's not even from like doing something cool. It's literally from bending over after picking up a laundry basket or picking up a laundry basket and then catching my ass on the doorknob, okay? Yeah. Um, because it does hide a lot more than a solid color. Um, now this is a medium again, fits perfectly, a bit of a thicker band, which I appreciate. And I love it. And I think it's really just a really nice set for the price. It's crazy. Um, all of them fit a little bit differently. I am ready! Here, this is what I was doing with my kettlebell. So, deadlifts, crunch your butt at the top and thrust your hips forward. I could never be a fitness trainer or even do fitness videos because I just, I do everything wrong. <laughs> I'm just not trained, okay? I know you guys are gonna be like, do fitness video. Well. You never know. I might just do them with a disclaimer at the beginning that I do not know what I'm doing. Um, let's move on to the next one. Because I chose the wrong hairstyle for this try on because see the size of this neck hole? I had to fit my whole head through this and add my pigtails. And you might ask yourself, do I normally wear my hair in pigtails when I exercise? And the answer is absolutely yes. Do you wanna know why? There's science behind it. Okay, maybe I don't curl it and do it this fancy, but if you have, let me just say, <laughs> when you exercise, you release a lot of heat through your head. And if I have my hair tied back into a ponytail or just tied up in any way, um, I'm keeping all that heat in. But if you separate your hair, like you have a part all the way down the back, it's like just a little gasket. <laughs> Not a gasket. It's just like a little space for your sweat and your heat to escape. It does keep you cooler. That's why you'll see like braids when People are boxing and that kind of thing. It just kind of keeps your head cool and keeps your core temperature down a bit, especially in my loft. So I have to wear pigtails when I work out in my loft because it's insanely hot up here. And anyway, this set, even though, okay, it looks super cute. Love the color, pretty much love everything about it. Um, this is really not super supportive when it comes to a top. Um, but look at the circle in the back. This will also help keep you cool. But these are super short. Like these are booty short. So you have to have super uber major confidence when you are at the gym wearing this outfit. Like you gotta not be afraid to show any bit of your butt to anyone because it's gonna be out. Not literally, but. It's just smaller than what I would be comfortable wearing. <laughs> Can you guys hear this? That's because I'm stepping on my mats. I've got a gorilla mat on the bottom. You can see this on my Instagram, by the way, because all these videos are gonna go up on Instagram too. Um, just more of it, more frame, vertical frame. <laughs> and then I've got my um, Lululemon mat on top, so it's super squishy and great for like ground, like floor work but it sounds like that. Yeah, fun. Okay, let's move on to the last one. All right, and we have the last one. Now, 
you see something strange and wonky happening with my boob? Because there are pads in here, and which I'm gonna rip out. The thing is, um, this set, I know I can't wear because these here will bother my back, like where the crisscross happens in the back. Um, it just tends to like be lumpy and bother some. And I have a top like this, um, not from Shein, but I can't wear it and it's shitty. Um, so this set is exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so it's got this compression band, but it's right above, right where I need the support is right here, but it's like right above. So it's actually emphasizing my like little thing, my little friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you can roll it down and so it is more supportive as you can see it's a bit more flattering but this tends to like I think will tend to unroll as I'm doing my my shit my stuff do you ever go through like swearing phases where you wind up swearing way more than you normally do and it just becomes kind of normal until somebody's like hey you have a mouth of a trucker it also depends on who you're hanging out with right? Because if you are hanging around somebody that swears a lot, it kind of tends to come out a bit more too. But I don't hang out with anybody, so I don't know what the problem is. Oh, I know what it is. Podcasts. <laughs> I watch a lot of comedy podcasts and um, they swear like truckers. But this color, I love this color. I'm going to take out the pads. I may try, like when I'm on the bike, obviously the top the back of the top won't affect me at all. It's just what I'm doing, like I said, floor work. But this, I have like indented nipples. You see this? Well, this concludes, this outfit concludes my activewear try on from Shein. This is not sponsored. I paid for these myself. Um, Shein does have really quick shipping. You've probably heard of Shein, it's everywhere. And yes, it's mostly hits compared to misses. Um, but you just, sometimes you just don't know. <laughs> I can't, depends on like what kind of quality you're looking for, for what you're paying and all that fun stuff. But fits tend to be pretty um, on point. What I love about um, their website, first of all, they offer all the measurements so you can pretty well make sure that it's gonna fit you. Also, the majority of their products, unless they're brand new, have reviews and people post photos of what it looks like on them, different body types, they state the size that they're in and blah, blah, blah. So it's really, they're not gonna put out a really shitty product because people will review it and they're genuine reviews. Trust me, there's lots of one-star reviews on there. So it's not like review, you know, genuine reviews. They're real ones. A lot of websites make their own reviews, give themselves five-star reviews. So it looks like people are like, woo, loving it. But Shein's pretty genuine, I think anyway. <laughs> oh my God, you guys have probably burned like 12 calories filming which is, you know, a French fry. <laughs> Thank you all so, so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this filming style. Do you like it better when I'm talking through the try-ons? Um, what do you think about me filming in my loft? And do you wanna see more activewear try-ons? I could try a bunch of different brands. I'm kind of tempted to because I've been working out so much and there's nothing more inspiring than a new outfit to work out in, that's for sure. Um, so I've been thinking about doing a few more orders. Let me know in the comments down below. Also check out all my information down below, my pillar link with all of my social media and mm, other special pages are there too. So check those out and like this video and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future content. And uh, I'm gonna go have a drink of water and then get ready to film my next video. Um, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video.